Hello, YouTube people. Let me show you my new favorite G-Shock. To my own surprise, this is GBX100. I bought this watch used. Uh, it is used to the point where it doesn't even say G-Shock on the bezel. It says C-Shock <laughs> because the whole bezel is crashed up. And I paid 50 euros for this watch. So the single reason why I initially bought this watch is because previously I had very similar looking GBD100, uh, very horrible G-Shock, squeaky, rattly, it's, it's, it's very nasty. So I wasn't expecting anything much more from this one. I thought it's gonna be the same quality G-Shock. So I'm just gonna buy this watch and smash it to pieces till the time gonna be working anymore and it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be fun durability compilation video. But once I took this watch into my hands, I was really surprised that this watch is completely different quality. So I, 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 I changed my mind. I'm not gonna smash this G-Shock anymore. I just gonna enjoy and have it because it's wonderful G-Shock. But as wonderful as it is, it, it's not flawless. It has imperfections, <laughs> but they are not major. Anyway, let's get those bad things out of the way first before I talk about nice things. So there are only six bad things that I would like to mention about the watch. First of all, the buckle. Buckle is the same as on GBD 100. Plastic, horrible. I mean, listen how it sounds. It makes the whole watch feel nasty and cheap. But when I cover the buckle, the watch feels wonderful. So it's just uh, on the exterior side, it's just the buckle. And another thing, the buttons. As always on all G-Shocks, I'm complaining and complaining that G-Shock buttons are horrible. For example, light button, you have to press it really hard to turn on the light. Those side buttons also, there is no feedback on those side buttons. It's like pressing a sponge till something eventually happens. They are similarly styled as on MS Fit Neo, but MS Fit Neo has clicky feedback. These buttons have no clickiness whatsoever. Still, they are spongy, they are not very good, but they are already the best buttons of a G-Shock I ever had. They are, you know, at least I don't need to use my nail to press them in. I can press them with my finger, which is improvement, which is nice. Other bad things are the functionality of this watch. It tries to do many things and completely fails on all of them basically. For example, you wanna have a good stopwatch on a sporty watch, right? Yet this stopwatch doesn't even show you split seconds. So functionality is rather limited as for a stopwatch. Speaking about timer, it has a very fancy timer function, which is very difficult to set up. It's not really that useful. So in terms of functionality, it fails there as well. Another interesting thing is, for example, if you want to set simple thing like, for example, alarm. Let's go to the alarm. Okay, okay. Let's set it on 9 a.m. Okay. And when I want to change the minutes like this number, uh, this button goes up, this button goes down. And for example, I want to skip numbers, go quickly, no? As usually, I hold the button and instead it just returns back to the main screen. What if I hold another button? Let's go back to the alarm. Yes, yes, yes. Now, if I hold this button, nope, it doesn't jump through numbers, nothing happens. <laughs> so to set the, the minutes, I have to continuously press the button because if we hold it for example this one it just returns back to the main screen so yeah in, in terms of functionality this watch is not the great and there is one thing in terms of functionality that i was excited about like on my wife's uh, watch uh, xiaomi band 6 it shows when the sun goes up when the sun goes down very nicely displayed i like that functionality very much and this one has the same thing because it's a uh, uh, surfer's watch it shows tides and whatever and it shows when the sun goes up and when the sun goes down but the problem is i cannot set the correct location i set the location on the app and it still shows incorrect data it shows the data from the nearest point where tide graphs are relevant although i live nowhere near the ocean so i i can't set it right if i try to set it on the watch there is a problem like, for example, let's go to the 
tides, moons, user, custom, user. Uh, I need to set longitudinal and latitudinal coordinates, yes, north, yes, and now I net, need to set uh, degrees. I need to set f 54 degrees north latitudinal coordinates as far as I remember. And here comes the problem, I have to press the button 540 times. <laughs> Because I, if I hold the button, nothing happens. If I hold another button, it goes back to the main screen. So I just don't even bother. I just don't even bother connecting this watch to the phone anymore. And the phone app is very bugged. I had to create new user, a new profile in order to even connect this watch to my phone and the functionality isn't really that great on the phone either so uh, yeah in terms of functionality this watch is just it's just a mess but it's not all bad so let's let me show you nice things about the watch now before i tell you nice things uh those bad things i mentioned I mean, come on, I'm complaining about bad stopwatch, bad timer function. I'm complaining that this watch doesn't show when the sun goes up or down in my location. I mean, how ridiculous it actually is. And yet, uh, I, I enjoy watches like this Casio, for example, MQ24, which shows time and nothing else. And I, I'm not complaining that this watch doesn't have a stopwatch function. So if you look at this G-Shock the same way as a simple watch, this G-Shock is absolutely wonderful. Those bad things are just minor things, not that important, honestly. But the major things that make this watch great are just executed perfectly fine. For example, this G-Shock is very big, very bulky, and it looks like it's going to be very uncomfortable on the wrist. Yet, this is the most comfortable G-Shock I ever had. I'm, I'm not kidding. For, for real, I'm very surprised myself. This rubber is so soft, the whole watch feels built in a very rugged, sturdy way. It feels like a very good quality watch, very, very well built and it's very soft and it's like it's wonderful. On the wrist, I put this watch on the wrist and I forget that I have a watch on the wrist. That's how comfortable it is. Now, another thing, the major thing that watch has to be good at is display displaying time. It has to be easy to see. And this screen is just insane, insane. It's so good in any lighting situation or whatever. It's not like it's just good. It's actually amazing. <laughs> it's like, it's like looking at this thing as a toy. This watch is just, it's alive. It's like, I look at the mirror with this watch and it's like, it makes me happy. This screen is just wonderful. So I, I can't really express that enough, but this screen is just what makes this watch Next level. I like, <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. Now another thing, it would be nice, a uh, major thing for the watch if it would be very durable. I, I like durable watches. And in terms of durability, I have no questions about this G-Shark. I mean, I did that stupid durability testing with this watch where I was trying to remove the bad smell for, from this watch. And yes, that, that was not a joke. This watch was smelling bad. The joke was that I was actually trying to remove the bad smell by freezing this watch, by boiling it. I mean, it was a joke and you guys took it seriously. I, I did those things because I knew this watch can take that and keep on going. It doesn't afraid of freezing, it doesn't afraid of boiling for one minute. So <laughs> I did that just for fun, just to mess around. And you took guys that seriously, like, come on, man, you shouldn't boil it because it just enhances the bad smell. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> it was just a joke, guys. But the trick with uh, fabric softener actually did help. And this watch, it actually smells nice right now. <laughs> so anyway, so it checks those major three things. Comfort, durability, and easy to read time. So as a watch, it is absolutely wonderful. And that's why on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com, where I rate watches into different tier lists, this watch goes into keepers because it's a great watch. It's a lot of fun. I like it very much. So if you buy this watch, don't expect any functionality. Just look at this watch as a simple watch. And as a simple watch, it is amazing. Okay. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.